How the Daniel Cluster is here and welcome to another video of us inventing, creating, transforming something and so on what so fucking ever our topic today is getting energy from the forest this is the elaboration of the idea that you don't have to bring anything to the fucking woods it's all already there you don't have to bring there some shitty combustion engine with loads of metal don't have to bring there some fucking petrol puke of rotten dinosaurs and big ass corporations hop in the forest we have wood Fucking awesome. Dry, great, full of energy. Okay, let's do it by the numbers and you'll get what I'm talking about. So we have firewood. Lots of firewood in the forest. And we have to use it, I suppose, well, if we use that thing that is shaking inside. So firewood, okay. From all of us, happy painting. God bless. There is a huge amount of calories in the firewood. It can be even eaten up and some part of it will get digested, but I don't advise you to do so. So we'll get down to the oldest way of getting energy from any kind of fuel. Fire. What the hell is fire? It's just plasma that is burning due to high temperature, vapors and all the compounds in the wood. Thus the emission is created. It strikes every fucking thing around and we can catch it. If we are standing nearby, it's warm. Good. If we are too close, not good. We're dead. How can I transform all that stuff that we have in the wood into a phone charger? What? What? How? How to combine these two incomprehensible, incompatible things? Should I throw my phone in the fire? Well, I can, but I shouldn't, because there are some special things called Peltier elements. It's just one of the tools used to transform one kind of energy into another. For example, some steam boilers or even nuclear stations. They are more or less just big as pressure pans. We're not gonna take huge metal things like steam boilers though i would like to make a steam boiler one day but not this time a small portable thing which transforms heat into the energy it can charge my phone with or anything else like a flashlight it's fun to walk around with an oil lamp for sure it's kind of bona fide but most of the gadgets and crap need electricity And thus it is created in here by the mighty engineers of Build Not Bombs. Let's check it out and see how it works. The device itself is not quite new and Peltier elements were used in like 30s. I don't know, but the Russian journalists like to brag about Russian engineers created the fire charger. Our land abounds of talented engineers. In Siberia, the local inventors presented the unique miracle oven. For real, that's a load of crap. Such things are already being factory made. They're called like BioLite, but our thing is special because it has many Peltier elements placed in a special way. So you don't have to fire some shitty stove to charge it. Their device has a rechargeable battery, air cooling like in that radiator, but by what we have here, 
water cooling, which is awesome. Sure, we can stuck a rechargeable battery in here, but we won't because as soon as this side gets heated, one side of the Peltier element warms up. Then the small rotor turns on. It's right here. It starts to pump up the water. The water cools everything down. It cools down the other side of the Peltier element and due to the temperature difference we get electricity, the current flow. Then all that crap goes to that board which acts like a voltage regulator so we could use USB as a charger. So any USB gadgets can be charged with that thing. It is charged with fire. You can really get electricity from fire. Just get it from the wood, the, the firewood. Like suck it out from the wood straight to your phone. Let's see how it works. We'll start with the usual hot air gun. As soon as we reach the temperature needed, the whole system will turn on. The engine will turn on, it will start pumping, so the other side won't overheat. The Peltier elements are quite sensitive. That's the difference between a factory-made charger and that device. The power itself. Because all the factory-made chargers are around uh, 3 watts. This device gives around 10 watts, even in a such weak mode. An average fire gives like 40 kilowatts. 40 kilowatts my ass! The system is on as we can see by the dial plate. Let's check the mode. Here we can see the voltage we have on the transformer. It should show more than 10, maybe up to 20 volts. Now 8 volts are in and 5 volts are out. That means I can already plug in my phone and it will get charged. As you can see, there is nothing in here. A small camping kettle. So we won't need to carry anything else. No recharges, nothing. Wires, just wires. No clean energy out of thin air. Just the conversation of energy principle. The phone says it's going to get charged but didn't start to charge. The water is circulating and bubbling and looks like it's not enough. Let's try to warm it up with something proper. The stove is going to act as a fire. So we can put some kind of a shield here so most of the energy would get right here. Holy fuck. Awesome. Look at it go. 13 volts. 13 volts on the output. Let's check it out. Ch -ch 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 check it. And it's charging, strangely enough. Looks like the phone has a charger boost and needs more than 10 watts. Let's try the power bank. It's charging. I don't know how many watts it needs, but it's pretty freaking hot. And as long as the water in our kettle is cold enough, we can actually put these two tubes and the rotor itself in some puddle and start a fire nearby. As long as the puddle is cold, it's gonna work. There are some cons in this device, of course, but also we have many pros. While the power bank is charging, you can like this video, subscribe to our channel, because sometimes we have some pretty interesting stuff, either experiments or destructions. If not destructions, then DIY guides. If not DIY guides, then tool tests, etc. I'm quite surprised by what's going on right now. There are no wires like we usually have. The rechargeable battery, and the device, you connect it and it works. Here we have a fucking fire working. The fire now is charging my power bank. Isn't it strange considering you can make it on your own? We have 78% on the power bank. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.